Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got an incredible story to share that might just change the way you think about success and wealth. It's all about Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon and one of the richest people in the world today. What can we learn from this super successful and super wealthy person? But as always, I love to connect these stories with my own experiences. So let's dive in and see how it all ties together. Jeff Bezos was working at a financial firm in New York City surrounded by incredibly smart people. His boss was someone he admired so much and looked up to. One day, Jeff approached his boss with a big idea. He said, I'm thinking of starting a company that sells books on the internet. His boss took him for a long walk in Central Park, listened carefully, and then said something that made him think. He said, that sounds like a great idea, but it might be an even better idea for someone who doesn't already have a good job. This advice hit Jeff hard because his boss was essentially saying, you've got a good thing going on here, why risk it? But his boss also introduced a critical concept, the difference between a job, a career, and a calling. If you find a calling, you've hit the jackpot because it's something that excites you to get out of bed in the morning. Jeff had to decide between the safety of his job and following his calling, which could be dangerous but could also be rewarding. Now, let's pause here and think about how this relates to all of us, including myself. I remember when I was working as a nurse in Canada, having moved there for better opportunities. Nursing was a stable career, something I was good at, and something that provided for my family. But deep down, I felt a pull towards something more entrepreneurial. I wanted the freedom to spend more time with my kids and explore other interests like online business, digital marketing, creating my own brand, and content creation. Just like Jeff, I faced a choice. Do I stick with a secure job that pays the bills? Or do I take a leap of faith into the unknown? It was a tough decision, but ultimately, I chose to follow my calling. This meant diving into the world of online business, e-commerce, and eventually YouTube. It was risky and there were moments of doubt, but the desire for a more fulfilling life kept me going. Fast forward to Jeff's journey, he met with potential investors and one conversation stood out. Jeff pitched his new venture to a friend, saying, I'm going to start a bookstore in my garage and put it online. People will buy books online and I'll ship them out of my garage. If you invest in me, someday I'll be the richest man in the world. I'll do over $100 billion in business. Now remember, this was 25 years ago. The idea of making $100 billion was unimaginable. Even countries didn't deal with such figures. And here was Jeff, confidently stating he will achieve it. His friend, like many others, was skeptical. It seemed like a crazy idea. How could a guy in his garage with an internet connection possibly compete with established bookstores? But Jeff wasn't discouraged. He had a vision and believed in it passionately. This is a key lesson for all of us. Do something you're passionate about. Don't just chase what's popular or what seems easy. Passion is what keeps you going when things get tough. He often shares a military phrase he loves. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. This means Taking your time to do things right leads to success in the long run. Reflecting on my journey, there were many sleepless nights and moments of uncertainty. When I transitioned from nursing to entrepreneurship, I faced challenges that sometimes felt overwhelming. Learning about online marketing, building a brand, and creating content were all new to me. But I kept going because I believe in the freedom and creativity this new path offered. One thing Jeff emphasizes is the importance of being proud of your hard work and choices, not just your natural gifts. We all have gifts, like being good at math or having a knack for creativity. But 
It's the effort and choices we make that truly define us. Jeff chose to pursue his passion, even though it was risky. He believed that the choices we make are more important than the gifts we're born with. So, what choices are you making? Are you pursuing what truly excites you? Or are you settling for what's comfortable? I know that for me, choosing to pursue a more entrepreneurial path was a decision driven by the desire to create something unique and impactful. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Now, let's get a bit more interactive here. I want you to take a moment and think about your own life. What are your passions? What are the things that make you lose track of time? Let me know in the comments and I love to hear about your dreams and aspirations. Engaging with you all is one of my favorite parts of this journey. And speaking of engaging, let's look at some comments from our previous videos. Many of you have shared your own stories and taking risks and following your passions and it's incredibly inspiring. Just like Jeff and myself, many of you are on a journey to find your calling, whether it's starting a new business, changing careers, or even just trying out a new hobby. Remember, it's never too late to start something new. Every time we share our stories, we create a community of like-minded individuals who can learn from and support each other. This is the power of storytelling and why I believe sharing Jeff Bezos' story is so valuable. It's not just about Amazon or the billions he made. It's about the journey, the challenges, and the choices that led him there. Today, there's never been a better time to be alive. The world is full of opportunities and inspiration. Your life, the story you write from scratch, begins now. As Jeff asked, will you follow your passions? or let your laziness lead you? Will you be original or follow the crowd? Will you be relentless or give up when things get tough? These are the questions we all need to consider, especially when the road gets bumpy. Every time you create something that helps others, you're onto something great. If you love your work, you're already ahead of the game. Just like Jeff said, if you don't love what you do, you'll never be great at it. So, what's your choice? Will you play it safe or will you take some risks? Are you going to be negative or create something amazing? The choice is yours and these choices will define your life story. Just as Jeff's belief in his vision changed the world, your passion and dedication can lead to incredible things. The journey to success is rarely a straight line. Whether it's Jeff Bezos starting in a garage or me transitioning from nursing to entrepreneurship, the path is filled with twists and turns. But it's in these moments of uncertainty that we find our true calling. Remember, it's not about the destination, but the journey and the choices we make along the way. So take that leap, follow your passion, and don't be afraid to dream big. Your story is yours to write, and every decision you make shapes your future. Whether you choose a life of comfort or one of adventure, make sure it's one you'll look back on with pride. Thank you for being part of this community and for sharing your journey with me. If this story resonated with you, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it with someone who needs a little inspiration today. Let's continue to chase our passions and build something incredible together. Remember, the best is yet to come. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep pushing forward, and never stop believing in yourself. Bye for now.